Hey everyone, Julian here and welcome to Python for Beginners. Uh, in this series we're going to be learning Python from absolute scratch. Even if you don't have a clue, you've never done any programming before, it doesn't matter. We're going to start from the very beginning, learn the basics all the way up to advanced. So let's get to it. First thing we need to do is install Python. Um, we're going to be using Windows 10. So what we're going to do, you can see here we've got a uh, Windows 10 machine open, so we need to go ahead and get Python installed. So I'm just going to um, jump into the terminal quickly. If you've never used a terminal, don't worry. Really simple, don't be scared. Just uh, search for terminal or command prompt and it's going to pop up. And as you can see here, we've got a terminal. And if we type in Python and hit enter, nothing's going to happen. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Great start. Python. Python is not recognized, so we don't have Python installed on the system anywhere. We don't have any versions of Python, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's close out of that. Let's open up a web browser. And you want to head over to python.org. Once you're there, come to downloads. And then we're going to get the latest version of Python, which I would recommend. Uh, we are going to look at installing other versions shortly. Um, but for now, go ahead and click this one. Uh, yeah, run. So that's going to download and automatically run. And you should be prompted with this installer. Um, if you don't get a little prompt saying run, just let it download, click on it, and then this will pop up. Uh, what you want to do is tick this box here, add Python 3.7 to part. And I'll explain that a bit later. So go ahead and click that and then just click on install now. Click yes. Let it do its thing. Da, 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 da. Come on Python, let's go. So, let this install, nearly there. I might fast forward this bit if it takes much longer. <laughs> Come on, baby. Right, here we go. Setup was successful. Um, don't worry about any of this for now. Just go ahead and click close. I'm going to minimize that browser. Now, if we come back here and fire up another command prompt, let's see what happens when we type in Python. There we go. We've got Python 3.7.2, which was the latest version of Python that we just downloaded. So I'm going to quit this, and that's just by typing quit, and then open and closed parentheses, and hit enter. Cool. So that's how easy it is to install Python on Windows 10. But what happens if you want to install multiple versions of Python Maybe you have uh, in the future, we're going to learn more about different Python versions, but I'm going to cover it now anyway. So let's go ahead and come back up to our browser. I'm going to go to downloads and then all releases. Let me make this a bit bigger. So here we go, Python 3.6.8. Let's say we want to install this version as well as the version that we've just installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click into that. Scroll down to the Windows Executable Installer. Click on that. Again, we're going to do the same and we're going to click Run. So let that download and do its thing. I'm also going to add Python 3.6 to Path as well. And we're going to look at Path in a minute and explain what it does. And then again, just click Install Now. Let it do its thing. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> and any time now, this will be done. Cool. 
Cool, right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and close that. So that was Python 3.6.8 that we just installed. So what happens if we come back to the terminal? Command prompt. If we run Python, what do we get? We get Python 3.6.8. Now what happens, let's quit that. What happens if we wanna run Python 3.7.2, which we just downloaded? Well, let's see, if we put in Python, 3.7 it's not recognized so how do we fix this go okay, so let's close that and I'm going to come down to here and just search for path and that's going to give you this prompt here um, but if it doesn't then it's just in control panel so we're going to come down to environment variables and take a look let me make this a little bigger and up here in the user variables, you should have a variable called path. I'm going to go ahead and click edit. So we can see here, let me make this bigger. We have four entries in our Python path. Now, basically what path is, whenever you run Python in the terminal, um, the Python interpreter is going to look for an environment variable called path and it's going to search that path for any python scripts that it finds so we can see here at the top we have python 3.6 scripts and python 3.6 and underneath that we have python 3.7 scripts and python 3.7 so actually what we can do if we want to run python 3.7 we can just move that up to the top and then move this up to the top. So now from the top, we've got Python 3.7 scripts and Python 3.7 underneath that, we've got Python 3.6. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, click OK, click OK. So now if we open a new terminal, let's see what happens when we enter the Python command. We get Python 3.7.2. So that's a way, if you do want to change the Python version that your system's using, you can do that. Um, there are other ways you can make aliases, but we're not going to cover that now. If you are just learning Python, absolutely brand new to it, I suggest just stick with Python 3.7.2 or the latest version. Um, I'm making this video in January. Um, so depending on when you're watching it, there might be a new version of Python. So don't just go and download Python 3.7.2. Always get the latest version of Python if you're learning. Anyway, guys, I hope that helped and I'll catch you on the next one.